Hi, this is Bob with Gibbs RV, and today we're looking at a 2001 Columbia fifth wheel by Keystone, 29 foot double slide. You see it's got the big slide in the rear living area, bedroom slide as well. Fiberglass exterior, this RV is priced, value price. Great home, great guest home. You'll see it's got some wrinkles in the front here. My first concern was that there had been some leakage problem. There you can kind of see it on top. We call that delamination. That's when this fiberglass actually pulls away from the foam inside. It's also got a little wear on the decals. They're peeling. You can either take them off or trim them. Here down the uh, entry side, see it's got an awning over the top. This is a double axle with storage underneath. Take a look down here. This storage compartment goes all the way through. Great place to keep your valuables. Place for the propane tanks and auxiliary shower, outside shower. Got muddy feet, great way to wash them off before you go inside. It's got a radial entry door, jacks on all corners. In the back here, got a big window in the rear living area, beveled top, keeps the rain and snow off, roof rack ladder, spare tire, and rear bumper for sewer tube storage. And here's another shot of the slide out here. Look at the big windows in this. That's why I say this would make an excellent guest house or home for somebody especially a big RV like this, fiberglass, under 10000 bucks inside. When uh, you're designated a rear living, you generally have a couple loungers in the back by the big window. Nice thing about this, if you have a view, great way to take it in because you have all these windows. Or for like watching your television, that sort of thing, generally you'll have an entertainment area just like this one does in the front here. Lots of room for your media above and below. You got the dinette right by the window as well. Overhead storage compartments. The sofa bed also turns into additional sleeping if you have guests. Now these rear loungers are mismatched. We got a red leather one. And what I'm guessing is probably original equipment here, this Euro rocker. And of course there's a console in the center. Overhead storage above. And speakers built right into the ceiling. Lots of room in the kitchen. Look the size of that countertop. Looks like we have a coffee maker that someone has added a Black & Decker. Dual basin sinks, and they're big basins. You can actually get your dishes in there. Household type fixture on the faucet. Three burner stove, microwave above. Got a Dometic refrigerator freezer here with the wood grain finish to match the rest of the trailer. Pantry storage right by the stairway above and below. And we come up the steps to our left. It's a glass shower enclosure. The dinette, or not dinette, rather the sink and vanity. And take a look inside here. Two piece shower enclosure with a skylight above. That gives us a free standing toilet, just a water closet with the power exhaust vent over the top. Pretty much the desirable type of floor plan in a fifth wheel. A lot of closet space here. You got wardrobe storage in here, and it's also set for washer dryer and storage above. More wardrobe storage built-in writing desk by a window, television jack placed overhead for a TV, and a queen-size walk-around bed with a window headboard. A couple things here. You notice there's a crack right here in the mirror and as well below and inside. Now, I on the outside, I was pointed out the, um, the delamination. Don't see really any signs of leakage here. No stains, no order, odors, no... Um, dry rot, dry as a bone. So whatever caused that delamination on the outside hasn't got to the inside. Generally speaking, seal these once a year, you keep the water out. Here it is, great home for under 10,000 bucks. Gibbs RV Superstore, 1-800-824-4388. Remember we take trades, we finance, and we can even help with delivery if you don't live in the area. So give us a call, Gibbs RV in Coos Bay. 